Hey friends, look at me in this very tired vlog. I have so many things to say, but at the same time I'm so tired and I don't want to say them all. I'll tell you some small facts instead. This weekend I went to... Uh, oh, no, quick, there you go. I went, no, last weekend, I went to Woman. Woo! Hashtag Woman like. Yeah! Oh! Wow. And it was great. And you can probably hear that I'm a bit sick out of it. My voice is going a little bit... Uh, which, I mean, I don't blame myself for. Ah, uh, no, I do actually, because I was shouting a lot and screaming and being a general fangirl of all of these random ass bands who were great and amazing. But, um, no, Wormad was so good. I loved life. It's like the best hippie festival ever in the whole world. And you should all go to your respective Wormads. There's only one in Australia, though, so suck it! Um, what else do I have to say that is a fact? fact also today was technically my first day of practical unis first day and i am so tired ah why did i think that these vlog things would be a good idea i am recording a lot like so much after i got home like so long after i got home so i'm probably a little bit more tired and I was when I got home. I should probably just get inside, record it, then do all the other things that I need to do. But today we did some yoga, some sweet, sweet yogi bear um, in the morning. We did some yoga for like 45 minutes and I got there on time. It took me 45 minutes to get to uni, which is my personal best. I got a sweet, sweet park that was only like a five minute walk away. But if I keep on parking there, I'm going to be so fit. Like, I'm going to have the best legs. They're going to be like big carved stallions by the end of uh, these weeks. Or oh, years, perhaps. Um, they're gonna, it's going to be the best time ever. Anyway. Is there anything else I was going to say? Yeah, actually, yeah, many things. So we did yoga this morning. And that was fun, except for I have a bit of a... Oh, so I have a bit of a lower back injury. And then, I don't remember else, no, I don't remember. And then we did some work on, uh, we're studying, we're studying a form of method acting at the moment called Meisner. And um, instead, like, I was just really expecting it to be sort of a theory class of like, this is the things that he implored, but instead we sort of worked on games, like Meisner uses a lot of like, we were sort of, we we're talking about like, what is acting at the very start. And then, um, like, we found out that, like, very simply, Meisner puts it, I think it's acting is, uh, oh, acting is doing something truthfully in an imaginative circumstance or, or something like that. It's like acting is something truthfully in imaginative circumstances and it just makes so much sense. So we talked about, like, the whole thing of, like, really like when we see a convincing performance it's because of the doing that's involved not just the language um and then we sort of stripped stuff down to basics and we've been working a lot with like doing things on impulse rather than acting them and finding a way that they like provide entertainment so just like doing something and we were playing all of these different games i can't go through all of them but like the one that kind of stuck out to me the most was like we were playing this game where we had to go through the alphabet there was like what you look at another person you have to go through the alphabet and you're like a b a. like you hang on you go a a a a a and then um you like you go i don't know it's really hard to explain uh you go through the alphabet but you only change letters when you feel the impulse um and it's so hard to like i can't do it at the moment i literally need someone else here but it was so cool to just like see that and um I did it with our teacher um and we got through the whole alphabet it took us like a couple of minutes to go through it 
Um, but, like, you create these storylines all through, like, emotion and the way that you're saying these letters rather than, like, thinking that they're dialogue themselves. Um, so that was so super duper duper cool. And then we had the lunch times. And then... Oh, God, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Look, this is the thumbnail. Um, I don't even know what I was going to say. And then we went into the TV get back then we went into the TV studio and we did some scenes from Neighbours and we learned how to use all the, the TV gear which was super duper cool um, like properly using it and recording stuff and like doing this little scene so I were, I did cameras for the first um, recording that we did and then I acted in the second time just like it was this awful 1990s scene from Neighbours like the one where they're talking like it's like Deb and Hannah and the dad. And it's just this tiny scene, but it was so it was so funny doing it. Oh, there was like there was like this one part where um where like she's where Deb's talking about like she's like this I don't know, woman, but like they're both her and Hannah are the daughter of this dad guy. Um and she's and she was like, Oh, something 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 so he, we're just friends he don't doesn't he's not going to get into bed with me and then there's just like this one single shot of the dad and the dad just goes deb <laughs> it seems so funny oh i don't even know how to explain how funny it is it's just the most ridiculous thing and like when the boys like replicated it um they sort of turned to the camera so it would, it would be like just be like, oh, they, he's not going to get into bed with me. And then just be like, a few seconds, Deb. It was so funny. Oh, jeez. We were laughing about that for like three hours straight. It was good fun. And then... That was my day. That was it. And I went to... I was going to go to the gym today, but considering my throat is as raw as an onion. Is that a thing that people say? Probably not. Um, I was like, oh, I don't want to overdo it and then make myself sick for like 20 weeks. So hopefully, I've been promising the pe the peeps now that I'll go. Because we've got like a good uni gym. Um, hopefully I'll join up next week. Because I was actually going to record the, the voiceover with James from The Sims of Blow tonight. But do you know what? I have no energy, so I might do that on Thursday instead. Um, in fact, I'll tell him that right now. No, I won't. That can be done off camera. Anyway, how long has this been? Eight minutes, whatever. Can't find anything else fun to say. Um, yeah. That was good. I can't remember. Was there anything else that I was going to say? It's, it was all good. Rain today. Nearly scared. I should have actually crashed my car by now. I am seriously terrible when I'm driving like I am so goddamn awful as a driver I don't even know how I passed this pee like that peas test it was so oh, Jesus I'm so bad I should not don't ever get in a car with me I'm so bad I'm a great manual driver I mean like I'm I'm getting better at like saving fuel now because I don't want to spend like $50 a week on fuel um so I'm getting better at like doing neutral stuff and like I can basically coast the whole way, nearly the whole way down to uni in neutral. Um, so I might, I might, I enjoy doing that often at, at times. It's enjoyable. But yeah, I think I'm just going to, I've got like a whole big 24 page, no 22 page, how many words is that? Eight, 14,000 words to read by Thursday drama lecture and I've got to do my journal I've got to think about doing my tutorial for next week oh it's like not even that much stuff but I'm already complaining which is classic Casey behaviour but anyway untoed. I'm tired I'm gonna to listen to more Macklemore and try and get this up on time anyway thanks very much for watching Merry Christmas Hare Krishna and uh, I'll wash my hair as well because it's disgusting. But yeah, Gunten, goodbye. Gunten, goodbye.
classic. Gunjan Tower, Gunjan Kabat. I don't know. Anyway, bye.